It's Jimmy Stewart here, hoping this is finding you all doing well. Today's video I wanted to take a closer look at a guitar model that uh, Firefly came out with actually last January and it came in with the new release of the LPs uh, when Firefly did the LP distinctions between a classic and an elite and it kind of came in under the radar. A lot of people didn't, uh, didn't pay it much attention. But I grabbed one right from the first batch, and I wanted to talk about this guy right here. This is the Firefly FFPTH, and it's very similar to the FFTH, which is right over there, and I'll explain the differences in a little bit more detail as we go along. But I wanted to show you this guitar because finally Firefly is coming out with two new colors of the FFPTH and they should be here very very soon even by the time that you see this video. The two new colors are going to be a sparkle red FFPTH like this one here and a blue FFPTH very similar in color to the blue FFTH that they released before. So two new colors on the FFPTH that are going to be coming and available for you any day now and probably as you are watching. So what's the big distinction between an FFPTH and an FFTH? Well the biggest difference folks is going to be that this particular guitar comes equipped with dual soap bar P90 pickups a separate volume and tone control for both and a three-way switch that's up here on the top bout so you can go from selecting the neck both pickups together or the middle position and the bridge position another distinction in this guitar is obviously the bridge now the bridge on this is kind of like a strat bridge it's through the body like they all are However, you've got individual saddles for each one of the strings, whereas on the FFTH, that is a standard Tele-type bridge. They call it an ashtray-type bridge, and that particular bridge has two strings per saddle for intonation. Okay, so that's the biggest distinction between this bridge and that bridge. Individual string saddles, two strings per saddle on the typical Tele ashtray type bridge. Now the bodies on these, and I'm going to show you in the up close video, the bodies on these are also identical. And so is the fretboard. Now I did some measurements of the fretboard because I've had some questions about that. Is the fretboard the same? Some people say they're not. I believe they're identical. I don't think Firebird would have changed the necks, but both of mine play, feel, have the same radius. They're 12, 12 inch radius necks but they feel identical. Uh, and I did put a scale on here to show you in the video that they are, are identical, at least on mine they are. Same headstock, same tuning keys, and the tuning keys are very good on the FFTHs and the FFPTHs. It's the same tuning key. I haven't had any trouble with these whatsoever. String through the body, individual saddles on the bridge, separate tone and volume controls for the P90s and the three-way switch up here on the bout. So if I hold these both together for you so you can see neck is identical 
They both have the skunk, skunk stripe on the back. Uh, you've got a cavity cut out here for the three-way switch that you don't have on this one. There they are. And I'll give you some sound samples and a little bit of tone samples so you can hear a little bit of the difference between what a P90 is going to sound like clean through a through an amp and what a standard the standard uh, tele pickups on the FFTH sound like coming through the amp clean and we'll also do some other sound samples as well so the opening sequence of this you see that I was using the FFPTH and on the closing sequence you'll see I'll be using the FFTH just to give you a a little bit of sample same blues backing track just a little bit of different uh, tone selection okay so let me give you the up close video of both guitars so you can see the difference between the pickup layouts the uh, volume and tone control layouts the three-way switch layouts and also the similarities between both guitars because they're utilizing the same platform the same body same neck and same headstock let's have a look folks so here's the up close video of the FFPTH and the FFTH with the creamsicle there on the left, PTH there in the center, and my sunburst FFTH on the right. There's that strat style bridge with your individual saddles for each string. Your three way is up there on the bout instead of the blade switch on the bottom. Dual soap bar P90s. This has got the rosewood fretboard going up, simple dot inlays. There's your headstock. This one came in very, very nice. Again, I got this in January of 20 when it first came out. There's your individual controls, volume and tone for both pickups. Get a little side piece of the guitar here. You can see the, uh, the binding, that's a real binding too, it's not a paint on binding, it's real. And the the backs of these are like a dark, it's almost black. You can see the string through there. Bolt on neck, very nice maple neck with the skunk stripe going up. Nice tuners, like I said, these tuners are, are quite good. And you can see this is number four of that particular batch, the first batch when they came out. Here's the FFTH, there's your ashtray type bridge and you can see the uh, it's two strings per saddle, standard bridge, three-way blade switch over there with a single tone and volume chrome knob. This is also a rosewood fretboard and you'll see it's the same headstock, same tuners, I did do measurements of these necks and they are the same. Again, you've got that dark, almost black back to it. Bolt on neck, string through. And again, maple neck on this with the skunk stripe. And you can see this is June of 19. There they are. Again, you wouldn't be able to tell really which one was which, uh, except for the the cutout on the back of the FFPTH. There, you can see the cavity uh, for the controls. Here they are side by side. Again, the same body, same neck, same headstock, same tuning keys. Just different innards. Okay, so this is the FFPTH. This is going into the Monoprice 15 watt clean with a little bit of reverb. So this is going to be the bridge position. Middle position. And the neck position. 
position. Now let's do the same thing with the FFTH. Okay, so we're going to do the exact same thing with the FFTH. I haven't changed any settings on the amp or anything. The only thing I've changed is the guitar. Uh, volume and tone controls are all the way up, and we're going to go down to the bridge position. And in the middle. So as you can already tell, the output of that particular guitar with the two P90s in it is hotter. It's louder. It's going to be louder than this particular guitar is going to be with the standard Tele type single coils. Now I'm going to do the exact same sequence with the FFPTH, volume and tone all the way up. We will start in the bridge position. Now listen to the difference. mid-range a lot more beefiness in uh, to the to these pickups than you have on the standard tele pickups on the FFTH <laughs> to the neck. So you can tell that the P90s are meatier uh, through the exact same uh, amplifier at the exact same settings. 
uh, they will tend to push and output a bit harder than your standard tele pickups will. The tele pickups got more of a twang to them. They more they're more bright. Uh, these are more mids uh, with a little bit more uh, gruffness to them. So just depending on what you particularly like to have and what sound that you're looking for is going to depend on which one of these types of guitars you really would like to have. Although my opinion is you should have both. Because <laughs> you really do need both. You need some nice single coil tele style uh, pickups. Uh, for that twang and that uh, that C and W and that chicken picking type stuff, uh, they sound great. Um, and P90s are my overall favorite pickup, only because again they're still single coils, but they got more meat, uh, more mid range, more growl to them. Uh, and when you have them on a semi hollow body or on a solid body, they sound even different on both of those style type of guitars. And again, depending on the scale length of the guitar and depending on whether it's a solid body or a hollow or a semi-hollow uh, is how they're going to variate in their resonance and variate in their sound. So I hope this helped you out a little bit let, and shows you a little bit more about the FFPTH uh, and it, it, its uh, niche in the Firefly uh, guitar family. Again, new colors are coming out as we speak. Uh, there's a candy apple red, which looks gorgeous, and a blue color. And both of those, by the way, both those guitars have a maple neck, not a rosewood neck. They'll have a maple neck like my creamsicle here. Now, the blue that was released a lot earlier, along with this one uh, last year or the year before, uh, those were the only ones that had the maple necks on them. The sunburst and other ones had a rosewood neck. The two new ones that are coming out, this particular week, uh, the red sparkle and the blue are both going to have a maple neck like this one. Because they both, the, the neck radius on both these guitars is the same, the difference being this has got a maple glossed neck, um, whereas that has the rosewood neck. So folks, I hope you enjoyed it, got a little bit of more information on what the FFPTH is all about and how it differs and how it's similar to the FFTH. Weight-wise, the FFTH is under six pounds. I'm going to say it's about 5.6, 5.7, I'm going to say the FFPTH is over six pounds, maybe 6.3, 6.4. There's probably about a pound difference between them, give or take, and that's because you've got two P90 pickups on there, you've got four controls, and a three-way switch versus the lighter, smaller tele pickups and the simple three-way switch and the simple volume and tone instead of having two. So you're going to have a little bit more weight with the FFPTH, but not by a lot. And both guitars are basically the exact same body, exact same neck, exact same headstock with different innards. So that's going to do it for today, folks. Just wanted to give you a quick intro into what's coming out with the FFPTH and some of the differences between the FFPTH and the FFTH, the difference in sound, difference in pickups, and that type of thing. So until next time, please stay safe, folks. Please try to stay healthy. And uh, we'll talk to you again very, very soon here on the channel. For all those who subscribed, thank you so much. For those that have not had a chance to subscribe, please consider doing so. We'd really appreciate it. Jimmy Stewart saying so long for now, folks. Take care. Stay safe. We'll talk to you again very soon. Bye-bye for now. Mm -hmm.